Wait, foie gras? And beef cheeks? Yo, Air France, your business class is fancy. Today, I'm taking a short haul Air France business class flight on its 777-300. Later on, I'll tell you how cheap I was able to get this Charles de Gaulle Paris to Cairo flight and tell you about one of the fanciest treats I've ever experienced on a trip. First stop on today's journey is CDG's Air France Lounge in Terminal 2E Hall K. The Air France staff at the front were super friendly. In fact, one of them even offered to give me a tour of the space. The lounge offers two separate sections, one of them having two floors. And what you'll see, of course, is what you expect out of Air France's brand. Nice quality decor and furnishings, good variety of seating types, whether you're eating, working, or just lounging, and of course, a good selection of adult beverages. I chose to hang out at the second floor of their main section because it had the most natural light, but I did wish it had more of that high ceiling, grandiose feel you'd get from their other lounge in 2E Hall F. Okay, so it's food time. Hot selections for breakfast weren't great, but plenty of bread, pastries and cheeses, and other cold items. I chose to go light for breakfast, but this genius here knew lunch was just around the corner. Again, not a huge selection of hot items even for lunch, but plenty of cold items and loved the couscous specifically. But I didn't love it as much as this insane selection of top-notch desserts that they had. My personal favorite was the Peruvian chocolate mousse. After I stuffed my face, I head to the showers to clean up. The facilities were spacious, clean, and stocked with Clorans products, which is a popular high-end European beauty brand. And speaking of Clorans, it's now time for my facial and face massage appointment. Yes, you heard that right, facial and face massage appointment. This is a free service Clorans offers at Air France lounges at CDG, and obviously one of the most incredible luxuries I've ever experienced at a lounge. Not only did I come out there feeling fresh as a flower, but I was so impressed with how Air France has gone this extra mile to make premium class passengers feel very special. I must now say goodbye to the extra friendly staff as it's now time to head to the gate to catch my business class flight on Air France's 777-300. Frankly guys, on these short haul flights, I always set expectations low, especially for this trip since I was able to book it for so cheap. Again, more on that later in the video. As I board this beautiful 777-300, I'm just hoping for good service and as always, good food. Today's business class cabin features four rows, each with a 232 configuration, and I'll be sitting in seat 1G. Positive sign with the hangers placed on the seat, as this hopefully means a short haul Air France flight will be the same standard as the longer ones. All right, let's do a quick seat tour. Generally, it looks staged. Upholstery, it's not uncomfortable, but nothing special either. Again, this is a short haul flight, so wasn't expecting much with the seat anyway. Of course, it reclines, but very limited controls and no massager. Before takeoff, we're treated to a refreshing towel, a glass of this Pommery Brut Royale, and here's a toast to me not getting a window seat and you not getting the traditional takeoff view. Not all short haul flights give amenity kits, <clears throat> talking to you Qatar, but glad we have some socks, earplugs, eye masks, standard dental kit and a pen, and lastly Clorance cream and a moisturizer. Now why do people fly Air France business or first class to begin with? Well that's easy, the food. Today's menu is curated by a chef with 9 Michelin stars, my goodness. I ordered the beef cheeks because it's exotic, sounds fancy, and beyond these wines I can't pronounce, I'm happy to report that in this short haul flight, the selections of amazing alcoholic and non-alcoholic selections you have is still immense. Tray action and white tablecloth action on, and I'm thrilled the restaurant quality standard still applies even on the short haul flight. Appetizers came out first and separate from the other courses, as it always should. And the amazing FA even allowed me to do a wine tasting, as if I had my own sommelier on this flight. Okay, here's the appetizer. Classic salad to your left, some amazingly fresh artichokes to your right, 
and of course the highlight was this foie gras terrain at the center. If you're not used to this type of stuff, the texture will throw you off, but I'm just really grateful to try high-end classical French cuisines at 30,000 feet. Okay, the star of today's show is not me, but these delicious beef cheeks. The beef was soft and tender, and don't let the surrounding veggies fool you, this dish was packed with full and rich beefy flavors. You even had this tarragon mustard to add more depth to the meat. No Air France meal would be complete without high quality cheeses like these, and I may have snuck in another glass of wine as well. And I finish off this first class restaurant quality meal with this incredible variety of mini desserts, along with a glass of this Hein Hommage Cognac. With the excellent meal service completed, let's look at the IFE, old remote to match the old looking screen, which was hard to control and navigate, at least the noise cancelling headphones is good quality. Okay, we're getting ready to land, and again this is short haul, but Air France totally delivered when it came to the meal service. Not much of a view again since it's dark outside and I don't have a window seat, so let me instead wrap up by telling you about how much this flight cost me as I go back to the clip of my amazing facial service at Air France's lounge at Charles de Gaulle. Okay, so check this out. If you really want to experience business class and are flexible on destination, you can find really, really cheap flights year-round between New York and Cairo from five-star airlines like Lufthansa, Air France, and Qatar. For this CDG to Cairo trip, it was part of a two-leg journey. The first one, which I covered in another video, went from JFK to CDG. Both flights were with Air France and business class for a total of only $1,500 one way. To compare, if you book a standalone ticket just for my first leg from JFK to CDG, you're already looking at $3,500 alone. That's more than double what I paid here, and more importantly, less affordable for me. Not sure why it works this way. If you do know, please comment below and share your wisdom with us. But hey, thanks to this loophole, I'm getting the chance to enjoy business class experiences, including unreal facial treatments like this at Air France's lounge in Paris. Not complaining one bit.